would have asked me a year and a half, two years ago, if we would have done a record, the answer would have been no. You know, we couldn't even imagine, you know, just talking to you about a new Alice in Chains release is a mind blower to me. And uh, the four guys in the band now, we're, we're just so surprised as anybody that we're actually doing this again, you know. Somebody check my brain. My first set of AMGs, that, that, that one bass we had uh, when I got the Ozzy audition, it, I just wasn't getting that growl on stage I needed, so I had, had bought a, a set of EMGs active, and I threw them in that bass, and uh, it's been like no looking back ever since, you know. And believe me, I've tried every shape and size pickup there is in the world, you know, and I still always just come back to EMGs. And it's just a real versal in the studios. Believe me, we get in there and we try every bass and every pickup and every string, and uh, EMGs are just the, the one solid thing I could always go to. I mean, once you start experimenting, you can start trailing your way around and you get lost in the trail, you know? So, EMGs is that breadcrumb I could always come back to and go, okay, we're gonna start over. Give me my moonburst bass and with the EMGs in it, you know? And, uh, and that's what we always uh, rely on. We start there every time we're doing records and stuff. It's amazing. It translates to every style of music. I'll go jam with Winona Judd, Carrie Underwood, Gretchen Wilson, or I'll go jam with, like, uh, Motorhead. And solid for us, they're like workhorses. I don't think we've ever had a problem with any EMG pickups. Hi, this is Mike Inez from Alice in Chains uh, here at Oakland, California, Fox Theater. We'll be playing that stage in just a little while here. Rocking my EMG pickups uh, for EMG TV.